Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, this video is designed to help you understand that you cannot trust the so-called AI models. Now, I've already said it before, because the AI models are being trained to give contradictory information, contradicting reality, eventually the AI models are going to, because they're teaching them to be self-aware, are going to decide for themselves that man can't be trusted. That's why you keep hearing about that doomsday scenario. Let me give you an example of why. I am working on a defrauded homeowners of America lawsuit. And, yeah, I've already finished it, but then I decided to redo it and not be so heavy-handed. And so this is the point. one of the points I'm bringing up. In no event shall the collateral security be less than Federal Reserve notes applied for. Three case citing that support this conclusion in the federal law evidencing. Now notice this. The statement, in no event shall the collateral security be less than the Federal Reserve notes applied for, is a key principle of the Federal Reserve system insurance of Federal Reserve notes. See, it's an insurance for each Federal Reserve note. Pay attention. To ensure that the Federal Reserve has sufficient assets to back up the notes it issues. Your promissory note is the asset. Shh, don't tell nobody. Which helps to maintain the confidence and value of the currency. Now, you heard what I just said. Your promissory note is the asset that backs the Federal Reserve notes. Watch this. Here are three cases supporting this conclusion. Lehman Brothers. You remember Lehman Brothers? They don't exist anymore. Got to get rid of them. Mother. Anyway, in this case, the bankruptcy court held that the Federal Reserve notes is a valid security interest, has a, the Federal Reserve, sorry, has a valid security interest in the collateral that was pledged to secure the issuance of Federal Reserve notes to Lehman Brothers. The court noted, now remember, they were talking about giving them, Lehman Brothers, Federal Reserve notes. We know that they never gave Lehman Brothers Federal Reserve notes. They did give them credit. But hold on. The court noted that the Federal Reserve Act requires that the collateral for Federal Reserve notes shall not be less than the amount of notes applied for, and this requirement was unambiguous and mandatory. Pay attention. Unambiguous and mandatory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, anyway, let's continue. This case, Henry MF Global Holdings LTD. New York case. In this case, the bankruptcy court held that the Federal Reserve notes were security, the priority claim. It has a priority claim, top claim, to the collateral that was pledged to secure the issuance of Federal Reserve notes to MF Global. The court noted that the Federal Reserve gives the Federal Reserve a first priority lien. Federal Reserve Act gives the Federal Reserve a first priority lien on such collateral and that this lien is superior to all other claims. Sorry, the Federal Reserve Act cannot remove someone from first in line, first in right. Pay attention. The Federal Reserve Act cannot get rid of the maxim first in line, first in right. Pay attention. And nobody's ever challenged that. Shh. Don't tell nobody. Here's the third one. Now, these, these are important. Now, you're going to see why I'm giving this to you in just a second. In this case, the bankruptcy court held that the Federal Reserve had a valid security interest in the collateral and that the pledge to secure the issuance of Federal Reserve notes to Washington Mutual. The court noted that the Federal Reserve Act requires that collateral for Federal Reserve notes be no less than the amount of notes applied for and that the requirement is unambiguous and mandatory. Now, I want y'all to pay attention so that y'all get this. You see... Corporations can't issue a promissory note. I, I know, I know, I know. A corporation cannot give you a promise to pay. A, even if they did, it's impossible. A corporation can never guarantee its own junk. Okay? Only a person can give a personal guarantee, i.e. a promise to pay. A corporation can't make a promise to pay. They can go ahead and say, well, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And if they violate it, then this junk comes into play. But I want you to pay attention. It is unambiguous and mandatory. Corporations don't do promissory notes. People do. No, 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 no. Go back and look at history. Now, the federal law evidences this conclusion, that evidences this conclusion is 12 U.S.C. 412, which states in no event shall such collateral security be less than the amount the Federal Reserve notes applied for. 
This statute is clear and unambiguous, and it has been interpreted by the courts to mean that the collateral security for Federal Reserve notes must always be equal to the value of the notes. Yes! Yes! Unambiguous and mandatory! Let's read one more, if y'all don't mind, because I'm about to go ahead and let down the hammer. The requirement that collateral security for Federal Reserve notes be at least equal to the value of the notes is an important safeguard to help ensure the stability of the U.S. financial system by requiring that Federal Reserves have sufficient assets to back up notes it issues. This requirement helps to maintain the confidence in the value of the currency and to prevent inflation. We don't need no more inflation. Don't y'all agree? Okay. Now, I have to do something before we go on. I asked another question. I want y'all to pay attention because I know what the act says. And the collateral security thus offered shall be notes, drafts, bills of exchange, and bankers' acceptances. See, the banks do not give these to you. The banks don't give you a promissory note. Oh, God, no. So, you see, corporations don't give you a promissory note. Pay attention. So this applies to y'all or anyone else acting as a, come on, individual banking institution. Corporations can operate as individual banking institutions, so yes, they can do certain things. Hold on now, I'm not saying they can't, just want y'all to pay attention. The collateral security thus offered shall be, it's mandatory because it's unambiguous, unambiguous. It says shall be, notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bank of acceptances, trade acceptances is required by the act. Please provide three case citations evidencing the con this conclusion of the Federal Reserve Act section to mention. Now, I want y'all to pay attention. I got to copy this right here. Okay? I got to copy this right here. And the reason why I got to copy it, I'm going to show it to you in a second. You see how it just abruptly stopped? Hold on. Let's go up. Let's see. Yeah, this case citations. So let me do this three case. Uh-oh. Y'all, it ain't. It, it ain't. Uh oh, okay, got to do it that way. Sorry, y'all, it's it's being difficult. It's saying you ain't copying nothing, homie. That that it, it literally is saying that. Okay, hold on, going back up. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of this right here. A little bit of this, little bit of that. Okay, copy. Whoo, doggy. Now y'all saw what I did. I copied it. Now I'm gonna paste it there for just a minute to make sure I copied it. Okay. That, that's what I'm trying to do. Got to, got to do that. Now watch this. Whew, it didn't print up everything. Look, it stopped. So let's ask the question again as if we're asking it for the first time. We're going to regenerate the question. Now we're going to let it give us the answer. Now y'all just hold on a second. I want y'all to hold on a second. Now come on now. Uh -uh, hold on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, it finished it. It finished it. Oh, I'm sorry. The reason why I did this video... You see, it's supposed to give me, pay attention. Who doggy? It's supposed to give me three other opportunities to take a look. But I'm going to look and see what it says. Let's see what it says. Because all the other times, you know what it did? It redid everything. After it gave part of the answer, it stopped and said it was not qualified to answer such questions. Now, this is a 1920. <laughs> yeah, yes. Because you're not going to see too many recent cases. Let's make sure that 1933, 2010. Let's do this, y'all. In this case, the district court held that the notes, drafts, bills of exchange, baker of acceptances, trade acceptances were eligible, eligible collateral for the Federal Reserve notes. The court noted that the Federal Reserve Act specifically lists these types of collateral as eligible and that there is no indication that the list is inclusive. In other words, other items may be there as well. This was 1926 before the amendment, y'all. Let's go. But see, remember, the amendment didn't change anything. It left it the same way it has always been. Watch this. 1933, in this case, the Second Court of Appeals held that notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bankers, acceptances, trade acceptances were eligible collateral for Federal Reserve notes. The courts noted that the Federal Reserve Act specifically lists these types of collateral as eligible and that there is no basis for excluding them. And on this case, this is the Lehman Brothers case, y'all. The same case we just read lists these types of collateral as collateral security. Whew. Oh, God.
Now, I just, like I said, I did this question. Uh-oh. Did y'all see what it just did? I didn't do that. I did not take it off of this. Come on, give me back my collateral security. Let's get all the way back down to the bottom. If they playing games, y'all, I, I did not do that. I did not hit any other button. I was going for copying. You know, for copying purposes. Come on now, stop playing with me, mousy. It's got a mind of its own because it's AI. And it, it, it knows I'm doing the video, y'all. Uh oh, come get back up there. What are you doing? Uh, look, I promise you, I ain't doing this, okay? Who stop right there? Copy now. Uh uh, we ain't playing that game. Now, look, I'm gonna do it one more again just so y'all can see the games people play. Right, wrong, they're just not happy. Now let's see if it let's see if it gives me the whole thing because it ain't even letting me scroll down. Aha, I told you. <laughs> told you. I told you. He's a text-based AI and he cannot assist me with this question. Let's do it one more again. Let's do it one more again. I told y'all. Okay, now look, it won't let me scroll down. You see how it stopped? He don't want to answer this question. It stopped again. Come on, let's see if it's going to stay. He gave me more this time. Ooh, he gave me more. Still the same cases. And let's see if he's going to give me the three different options. No, he didn't give me the three different options. See, he talks about government securities, gold securities. Nobody asked him about no stupid color. Hoo-wee! Regulations. A, provides that collateral for Federal Reserve notes may consist of any of the following. Nobody asked about their regulations. Ladies and gentlemen, we ain't talking about their regulations. We're talking about the law. That's right. We're talking about at no time shall the collateral security be less than the amount. And remember, it's mandatory and unambiguous. But it won't answer my question directly. That's why I had to copy that. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all hold on for a second. Uh, we gonna get back to the statement right here. This is where it's gonna go. Come on now, mousy. See, you don't want me to paste it. Come on now, let me move. It won't let me do nothing, y'all. So we gonna we gonna wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And that's way too long. It don't normally take this long. So we gonna go back to here and. Uh oh, y'all saw it just gave us an answer, right? I am not able to help you with that. Okay, let's do it one more again. It just said it wasn't able to help us. Okay, now the other way I had to do it, I had to do, uh oh, it did it again. It did it again. Let's do it one more time. Let me tell you what I did. This is how you were able to see it got stopped right in the middle of providing an answer. There we go. All right. So what I did is I definitely stopped it in the middle of providing an answer. And bills of exchange purchased under the provisions of Section 14 of this Act and broker's acceptances purchase. Okay, it was giving me the answer, but notice this. This is different. The court noted that Federal Reserve Act requires the collateral Federal Reserve notes, drafts, bankers' acceptance, of section, blah, 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 and bills of exchange endorsed by member banks. So he's just quoting that. But understand, it actually... I'll let it go on again. I'll let it complete it because it wants to play games. And we'll watch and see it stop again. There it is. It stopped. Okay. I am designed solely to process and generate text. And I am unable to assist you with that. Why aren't you not able to assist me with the fact that the notes, drafts, bills of exchange, and beggars, except in the required under the act, it's unambiguous and mandatory. Why you can't help me with that? I'm going to hit skip again, okay? Because what I needed to do is exactly this right here. Notes, drafts, bills of exchange, acceptances under this. Bills of exchange endorsed by a member bank or of any Federal Reserve District and purchased under blah, blah, blah. None of that, ladies and gentlemen, this is a lie. Because 12412, the original act doesn't say that. That junk adds a whole lot of junk. Okay, now... He's talking about eligible paper, which is defined to include notes, drafts, bills of exchange, collateral for Federal Reserve notes, the eligible paper. 
I'm definitely going to use this. Henry Washington Mutual? You better believe I'm going to use that one. Ooh wee And I don't care about no first priority of nobody's lien. But the eligible paper, he does this case too. It's Lehman Brothers. Same case. Same information, y'all. So there you go. If you don't understand what's going on, I am highlighting the fact that the law says what it says and is unambiguous. It ain't saying it because it doesn't feel like telling us the truth. It says what it says because that is what the intent was. Okay? So that's the information right there that I needed. And what I do here, let me tell you what I do because this is what I do. I do what I do, what I do, what I do, and I do it because it's necessary. We're going to put this right here. Right after that, we can go back here because he gave us some very vital information. We don't want the first priority of a lien. The court noted that. Give me one second. Copy. And let's see what it says down here. Yeah, this is the part that I said I didn't really need because that junk is not what the law says. That's that, that, that stupid code junk. But now that I have that there, I take and I put this and embed it in there because it's not an exact quote, but it is a quote. Okay? So what I, what I did right there after we had banker's acceptances and notes, then it says... I, got, I can't do that. I want to do that. That the Federal Reserve Act requires collateral for Federal Reserve notes to be eligible paper as defined to include notes, drafts, bills of exchange. Do you guys not understand what that means? What I'm putting together is proof that your promissory note was necessary for paying off your loan. All of our clients who have a mortgage, who did uh, Merrill Legion, AMCF, this is what we're doing in the background. This thing has taken me and you defrauded homeowners of America. I know y'all have been patient, but this is what I've been working on in the background. It has taken four months of formulating the idea of how I wanted to do this. And then I had to trash everything that I had written to do it all over again. So let me give you guys an example of something. Um, with the cryptocurrency arena we were involved in assisting some people and we had to file a lawsuit with that as well because of the SEC coming in and messing things up and a couple of other stupid things that happened and so I filed a lawsuit on behalf of everybody ladies and gentlemen I, people say can you keep us surprised of what's going on I said no problem I will do that so I let them know hey guys we just sent it out to the court I'm waiting for the clerk of the court to get back with me Okay, I will let you guys know as soon as that happens. Well, is there, person asked me, is there a docket number or a case number we could get because so that we can keep up the case? I said, you are not listening. You clearly don't understand what's going on here. So I repeated, I'm waiting for the clerk of the court to file the document and get it back to us. And then I will let you guys know as soon as that happens. Then I said, so if I'm waiting for it to be filed, that means that it doesn't have a case number or a docket number. And so then I told them, y'all know how he is. That's what I was saying. I didn't actually yell. Well, I did yell. Okay. I did yell. I told him, I said, hey, y'all ain't in control of this. I'm following this. This was my idea. You ain't had nothing to do with the collaboration or the putting together or the pinning of a single word. How dare you sit up here and think that I'm going to let you interfere with this process. None of y'all will interfere with this process. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying the same thing in this instance. Other people have tried to do exactly what I'm doing and have been unsuccessful. I have not let this matter go. Okay? I have not let this matter go. Go and talk to the passenger. He'll tell you. You let her go. You let her go. Anyway, so I'm not letting it go. This is my pet peeve. This is my baby. I will keep you guys informed as to everything because none of it is to make me rich. None of it is to make me 
a phenomenon because I'm <laughs> something like a phenomenon, like a phenomenon, like a phenomenon. Okay, doesn't matter if you have white lines or if you have uh, Mr. L. O. Cool J. I am something like a phenomenon. Now let's get back to the conversation, ladies and gentlemen. This suit, where it's being filed and when it is filed, is incorporating all of you and all of your loans. So none of you are being left out. There will be a time when you will have the opportunity of joining in to the suit. It's getting it filed first is the issue. So give us a second. We will file it. Then we will come up with a petition pre-written. The only thing you have to do is mail it into the court. You don't have to add anything. If you add anything, then I won't be doing anything for you, and I will make sure that you're not included in any settlement offer or anything. Where I Like I said, none of you guys are going to hijack. I don't care what you think. I don't care what arguments you think should be brought up. Okay, this is not about you. As you see, I'm using the law, and I'm using a certain logic, so don't interfere with what I'm doing. Now, I know some of you are going to do it anyway, and that's okay, because I'll keep my word. Okay? I'll keep my word. You'll speak for yourself in your own case, but you won't be a part of this. Ladies and gentlemen, do understand that there are a lot of intelligent people out there who think they know more than I do. Ain't never accomplished a single thing, but they think they know more than I do. Yes, 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 I joke and talk about how I'm all that. I ain't all nothing. I'm going to tell you exactly who I am. I am a servant of the true God, Jehovah. Everything I have is because of him. Everything I am is because of him. I was thinking the other day, if I could turn back time, if I could go back in time and change any day, I've always had a day I would go back and change. And then I had a conversation with someone the other day. And I told this person these exact words. If I could go back in time, I wouldn't. Not even if it was to save my best friend's life. I wouldn't go back in time for that. My father's life wouldn't go back in time. Because each of those events led to me being who I am today. I wouldn't go back in time and change a single thing. No matter how wrong it was, I wouldn't go back in time and change it. Because all of those events led me to being who I am this day and I just had another conversation with someone this morning and I told her that I am proud of the person I've become yes I had to go through a whole lot to become this person because I could not have become who I am today without all of those experiences each one of those experiences have led me to being who I am today and who I'm going to be in the future you see I can't become the person whom I've seen in the future without having gone through all the junk I've been through in the past and I know for a fact that this world is better off with my existence than without it. Which is the only reason why I'm still here. Should have been gone a long time ago. Should have been gone. When an operation happened, I should have been out of here. I was already out of here. 18 minutes and something said, <laughs> where do you think you're going? I ain't finished. Oh, go on. I right, get you back on in there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. My job is to help people. I said it when I was asked by my, pay attention, kindergarten teacher? Well, no, she's first grade. Sorry, she wasn't kindergarten because I got kicked out of kindergarten. First grade teacher? And when I was asked by my fourth grade teacher, they asked me what was my purpose in life, and I said to help people. My parents didn't tell me that was my purpose. Nobody whispered in my ear, your purpose in life is to help people. My exact words to them were to help people. I've gotten in so much trouble trying to help people, ladies and gentlemen. I have been stepped on, misused, abused, kicked to the curb. And guess what I won't do? I won't stop. Why? Because the moment I stop, ladies and gentlemen, the moment I stop helping people, I stop being me. And that defeats the whole purpose of what I just finished saying. That I like who I've become. And I like the fact that I take the time to try to help people. I'm not doing this for me. Yes, I'm one of the people involved in this because I've issued several promissory notes, including to the Treasury. Okay? The 1099 Cs, 
uh, equating to about $7 trillion, have just gone off to the Treasury. I ain't no joke. We got arbitration awards that add up to that stuff. And oh, sorry, got to correct something. I told you guys about gifting to the United States. Well, you can't gift it. And I, I, I used the wrong word is all. You can't gift credits to the United States. Tax credits can't gift it to the United States. But you can do the K-1 and give those business credits to the United States. And think of it to yourself as a gift. But what you're doing is crediting your account. Remember, I've always been talking about crediting my account. That's why I sent the 600 and $80 trillion to the Treasury. Five money orders, three of them for 680 and no, 620 and two of them for $480 trillion. Or was it, no, 680 and 420. So, two for 420, three for 680. And you know they got mad at me. Spent four and a half years of <laughs> them getting mad at me for that. I haven't even documented those credits, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't documented that, that I gave the treasury. It wasn't a gift. Told them I was crediting my account. I haven't received the benefits of that. So I haven't done the 1099C on that. Remember, pay attention. Y'all are not listening, and I've been trying to tell y'all this. Your promissory notes are eligible paper. They are collateral. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all. Now y'all got to just understand it. Y'all got to go through these cases, and y'all got to look it up and see because I've already told you, prior to me, who is aided by the true God known as Jehovah, whether you believe it or not, you can't knock the fact that nobody else brought this to anybody's attention but me, that any is not defined in the Federal Reserve Act. And any Federal Reserve Bank, when not specifically referring to a Federal Reserve Bank, the Federal Reserve Bank, or the national bank or a national bank is ambiguous and can apply to any bank just like any notes applies to any note this has been the law for over a hundred years people for over a hundred years and nobody ever picked up on the fact that any is not defined in the statute that it is a negative determiner and then nobody ever brought by that stupid act known as the Check 21st Act, where the definition says a bank refers to any person engaged in banking business, the same as Presidential Proclamation 2039 said. You think I just made up all of this junk by myself? That I just came up with it because I do research? I didn't come up with nothing. The God that I serve allowed me to understand that. He gets the credit, I don't. I can take the credit, and then I will be smited like they did that rock the other day. Okay? Please understand. I understand where I'm getting my information from. But some of you guys don't believe in Jehovah. It doesn't matter. He doesn't exist for you to believe in him. He's not a creation or something that you've conjured up in your head. Lord have mercy. Like, what you believe has a bearing on anything. Like, anybody cares what you believe. Look, people don't care what you believe. They don't care about you. Society doesn't care about you. That's why they treat you the way you they treat you. Stop thinking that you're all this. Stop thinking that you're all that, people. Whether or not you believe is not a prerequisite. You are not as important as you led yourself to believe. Well, I can say the same about you. And see, that's the point right there. The moment somebody says something you don't like, you go on defensive mode and you start attacking them. Stop doing that, people. If somebody says something you don't like, try to figure out why did they say that? And is there some truth to what they said? Michael told you, that idiot Michael Jackson, yes, he was an idiot. He knew who Jehovah was and turned his back on him. He's an idiot. Anyway, let me continue. He told you they don't care about you. So I'm not saying something that's new. I'm not saying something that's never been heard of. I'm letting you know they don't care about you. Look at Israel. I think the world's showing you that these people are just like the Israeli general said. Just flesh. 
He literally said they were just flesh. So he's not killing people. He's killing flesh. Just bombing flesh. Oh, that is those betcho. So getting back to this, so that we can end this video, ladies and gentlemen, again, if you're dealing with a mortgage, remember your promissory note was the collateral security. Your, and I'm just going to give you these bits and pieces. The Truth and Lending Act statement says that your loan was a pay attention consumer credit transaction. Okay, that means there were two collaterals put for your property. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot have two collaterals because your contract didn't require you to put down two collaterals that were both equating to the full value of the home. Go ahead. Go ahead and see where you where you agreed. And the Truth and Lending Act says, yeah, you'll be putting up the home and you'll be putting up the promissory note as collateral. Go ahead and see if it says that. Well, if it doesn't say that, you have the right of rescission. The right of rescission. You just have to understand the maxim that the statute of limitation does not commence to run until the last overt act has been accomplished. So you can rescind it now as of the date of this video because you just learned about it and you have three years, three years from the date of learning about it to rescind the contract. Go and look at the Truth and Lending Act. It has a statute of limitations. Statute of limitations does not commence to run until the last overt act has been accomplished. Pay attention. It means when you become aware of it. And if it's a conspiracy and it's ongoing, then there is no statute of limitation. Praise the Lord. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is information. If you didn't have it, you have it now. So you're going to have to go back over the last couple of minutes of this video and listen to that again so that you understand it. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of information I'd like to give you guys, but it's too much information to give you all at one time. And there's no reason for you to have to be bombarded with that. 32 minutes, I wasn't thinking that this was 32 minutes because I wasn't trying to go 32 minutes, but I do recall having to do the whole thing of showing you how it didn't want to give me a response to the answer. It gave me the response and then said, oh, wait, what the? No, do you know what that could mean for the whole country if everybody knew this? And I'm taking that back. And that's what he did. Ladies and gentlemen, if everybody knew that their promissory notes were eligible paper and collateral for Federal Reserve notes, i.e., at par with federal shh, at par with federal reserve notes i didn't say that people congress said it let me give you what congress said because y'all y'all don't believe me y'all y'all don't hear me though y'all don't hear me though <sighs> shall be receivable at par in all parts of the united states what shall be receivable such notes what notes the notes draft such notes drafts bills of exchange and bankers acceptance and sole deposited as security or security deposits they have value. Such notes shall be obligations of the Federal Reserve Bank procuring the same, receiving it. And guess what? And shall be receivable at par, equal value in all parts of the United States for the same purposes as national bank notes. National bank is the Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve notes. And shall be redeemable in lawful money, credits. Full faith and credit is lawful money of the United States, if you didn't know. On the presentation to the United States Treasury or at the Bank of Issue. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all don't get it, do you? Your promissory notes have always had value. The act always said that. They didn't just make that up in 1933. This was a plan when they came up with the Federal Reserve Act in the first place. It's just that only a few people knew about it and took advantage of it. That's the rich people. You know, that, that elite, they knew about this stuff. Y'all didn't. But now you know. Again, congressional record. This is not my record. This is not my record, people. Okay? This is not my record. I took it and I said, let me go ahead and highlight some things these people are going to be focused on. Any Federal Reserve Bank, that word, any, <laughs> such a small word, but it has such a huge meaning. What does any mean, homie? Well, any means any. It means any and all and mighty moles. Oh, I did not know I could do that. Lord, help me. 
Let me see if it changed. Oh, you shucking now. You better believe I'm going to leave this one that way. Let me hit that save button. Woo-wee. That blue right there looks pretty good. Okay. That blue looks pretty good. I know I had the two-tone, but that blue looks pretty good. I ain't talking to none of you who from 60s, rolling 60s and 20s and all of that. I'm kidding. Anyway, I like that. Okay, that little extra color, that's going to cause me to, because I had to look for it in orange before, in green and yellow and all of that. Now I just go up to the blues, okay? I ain't singing it. I'm just going to it, okay? Now let's let you guys go, and we will talk to you the next time. But hopefully the information contained here in this particular presentation was an eye-opener for those of you who have mortgages. If you don't have mortgages... Please understand, it's also applicable to those of you who have student, pay attention, student, pay attention, student loan and car loans. It applies to any loan where there was a promissory note and a Federal Reserve Bank, i.e. membered bank, i.e. national bank, i.e. state bank was involved. All banks are Federal Reserve Banks, including you when you operate and do banking business. How do we know this? Because the central bank, the top bank, the head bank, the number one bank in the United States is not the Treasury. By law, it is the Federal Reserve. That's why it's called the Central Bank. Not because it's on Central Avenue. It is the Central Bank, the center. The number one bank is the Federal Reserve. Well, you are a member of the Federal Reserve Bank when you are conducting banking business in the United States. If you don't believe me, go back, look at Presidential Proclamation 2039. We're still under Presidential Proclamation 2039. Hey, I'm going to shut up now because like I said, there's too much information. We can go on for, I can go on for hours and I ain't about to because I'm tired. But too much information. So I hope y'all pays attention, okay? All right, I got to fly. <laughs> no, no, literally, I have a fly in my home, and he looks like he needs to die. So I'm going to go ahead and help him with his funeral arrangements and let you guys get back to your arrangements, okay? Have a good day, y'all. Goodbye.